Johnny. This is my entry for the Simply Wooden Creation Scroll Saw Contest 2016. I am going to make this. It's a pattern by Judy Gale Roberts, and I made five copies of the pattern, and I placed this piece of plexiglass over the top so that I could set the pieces on the pattern. Johnny and I examined the project and then picked out a bunch of different kinds of wood. And I need some other browns and stuff. I cut out each piece and glued it to the wood. I like to use repositionable stick glue. It works really well for me. And here's the little stack of the project pieces ready to be cut out. You know, choosing the wood is one of the most difficult parts of doing a project, um, but colors really help. Then it was time to scroll away. Right on! And now the fun part, removing the papers. I love doing this because the colors, they just always amaze me. It's been raining. So I have my sander inside and I have the doors open. Try to keep from getting the sanding dust all over the place. And I am going to start with the pumpkin. And since that sticks out the most, let's see how that goes. All right, here we go. I'm using 100 grit on the pneumatic sander, and I really enjoy this part because it's when the project comes alive. And when things were coming together, I had a little victory dance. If you can call that dancing, it felt right at the time. Someone came out to say hi. Hi, buddies. How are you? Oh, thank you. Yeah, look at my mom's making. Yeah, you like it? I used 100 grit to smooth up the shapes, and then I sanded with 150 and 220. A little clapping and a little dancing. I added some detail to the leaves by cutting the veiny lines with the scroll saw, and then I softened those lines by running a few grits of sandpaper through them. I also find that I hum to myself an awful lot. I decided to do the grapes last, and the reason is because I did grapes before, and they're really difficult to keep you know, they're situ situated where they're supposed to be. So, I'm gonna cut a grape, shape it, and then cut another grape and shape it, and then glue those together and just go like that. So I've got this clump of grapes, and this one I had to cut separately anyway, so I'm gonna shape that one and get it all good to go. And I put my sander outside, so yay! It was great to have the sander outside to reduce the sawdust accumulation inside the shed. But the sun is setting so early nowadays that I ended up sanding in the dark. And I knew it was time to quit when I kept dropping the little pieces and I had to search for them by flashlight. But I found the ones I dropped and I like it. I used carbon paper and traced the outline of the pattern onto a quarter inch plywood. I guess you could trace each piece of the project instead of gluing the pieces, but I think the line would be thicker. Then I cut that out for the backer board.
I heat transferred a verse and my size corner to what I thought was the back. And the verse that I thought went really well for Thanksgiving was this Ephesians 5.20, always give thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So that means being thankful for everything, hard and easy. Oh, man. So now I am going to glue on my project, which is difficult. <laughs> so I'm thankful I can make the project. <sighs> thankful that I can glue it on, which is tough. Guess what? I put it on the wrong side. So I'm going to put it on there again. <laughs> so I'm thankful I got to practice and do it again. Then I moved my project to the backer board and realized I needed to add some detail to the orange or grapefruit. And so I did that. Then I added glue to the back of each piece and directly onto the backer board in some spots. I was happy with the backer board shape because it always tends to be off, making gluing difficult. But this time it was pretty good. I guess it's because I traced the original pattern outline with the carbon paper. This will be something I do from now on because it seemed to work so well. I only had to adjust a tiny bit of the backer after the glue was set. After a few hours, I wiped it down with a tack cloth and took it outside to spray it with polyurethane. It is nice to do this outside, but I do take it inside in between coats so bugs and rain don't land on it. And I was battling spraying against the wind, but it worked. So thanks for joining me, everybody, while I made this cornucopia for Russ's Thanksgiving challenge. And everybody have a really good Thanksgiving, and we'll see you next time. Bye!